Let's talk tropics now. Two areas that we're watching. This one is off the map. It's a 50-50 chance in the middle of the Atlantic, but this is the one that we are going to watch the closest in the coming days. Uh, it's the one that we've been talking about now for days on end. The percentages have gone up steadily if you're just joining us again for the first time since the last week. Yeah, it's the same system. Hasn't formed yet, but we are expecting formation here within the next 48 to 72 hours. Right now it's off the coast of Honduras. It develops probably somewhere in this area, if not the Southern Gulf, but it will move in this direction here as we get to the upcoming week. We now have a high resolution future track of what this thing could look like. So again, very disorganized this evening, but there are showers and thunderstorms that are out there right now. Watch how fast they start to consolidate. You get that spin in the atmosphere. And before this thing even gets out of the Caribbean, on Tuesday, this future track has a closed low. This is either a strong tropical storm or maybe if things can get their act together fast enough, a low end category one hurricane. And as we get to Wednesday, we've got a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, again, this looks to stay in the Eastern Gulf. This will be something that Florida has to keep their eye on. Georgia, Alabama, here's the reason why. As our storm develops, it'll be squeezed between two players. One is high pressure to the east. That will keep the storm off, I think, the Florida Peninsula or at least South Florida. That all depends on how strong the high is, but that's what's nudging this thing into the Gulf. For us, we've got that trough in the jet stream, okay, that cold front that we were talking about for the middle of the week. That'll be diving into our area, and that really just leaves this channel open for this storm to go once it develops. So, there's no storm formed yet. There's no official forecast from the National Hurricane Center yet. So what we're showing you right now is model data, but that model data takes this storm pretty much up the eastern gulf and eventually somewhere into maybe the Florida Panhandle, maybe into Southern Alabama, Southern Mississippi. And here are the model plots. Again, just a cluster of storms right now. Model plots take it through the Yucatan Channel, up the Eastern Gulf, and then again, somewhere in this area. We will get more model plots though as they start to run. Right now the models are running at this point. Later tonight into tomorrow, we're gonna have a lot more lines on this map and we'll have a better idea of what every model is thinking, but that's the consensus for right now. So here's the bottom line. Development is expected this week. The system will move into the Gulf of Mexico. And then the big question is exactly where does it go? We don't have that answer yet, but right now it looks like it likely goes to the east. But again, until we have that official forecast from the National Hurricane Center, it is something that we will need to watch.